Okay, so this is 8-3, multiplying binomials. Our learning objective is to multiply two binomials, or a binomial and a trinomial. And we're talking about what is a simpler form of quantity x minus 6 times a quantity 4x plus 3. So the first method we went over is FOIL, which stands for first, outside, inside, last. So we took the first term in each of these binomials, x times 4x, and got 4x squared. Then we did the outside terms, which is x times 3, and got 3x. Then we did the inside terms, which is negative 6 times 4, which is negative 24x. And then the last terms, which is negative 6 times positive 3, which is negative 18. We combine our like terms to get 4x squared minus 21x minus 18. All right, I actually, the box method is growing on me. So we go on the box method, you put one of your binomials on the vertical and one of your binomials horizontal and then you multiply each item. So this is 4x times x which is 4x squared. You get 3 times x which is 3x. This one you get 4x times negative 6 which gives us negative 24x and this one is negative 6 times 3 which is negative 18. And you just take the results of each item and you write them down. So it says 4x squared, 3x, minus 24x, minus 18. You're still on the hook for combining your like terms. When we do the tiles, we break things down into x's and ones. So I have, and this is this happens to be my least favorite, but I'm not going to judge. It's okay. So in this scenario, I have my x, and I just have one of them, and then I have six negative ones because it's got a so we're breaking it down into x's and ones in this scenario up here I have four x's and I have three ones I just multiply, I'm either getting an x squared, an x, a negative x, or a negative 1. So if this is x squared, and then this is x times 1. And then all these are negative 1 times x, and then negative 1 times 1. And repeat. Uh huh. But it, it does its job. One more. Alright, then I count them all up. How many x squares 
do I have? I have one, two, three, four, and I'm looking around. I have no other x squared. So I have four x squared. And then how many negative x's do I have? Let's count those up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, thirty-four, thirty-four. Twenty-four negative x's. Or negative twenty-four x's. Last but not least, oh, I have, I have to do my positive x's. I have one, two, three positive x's. Yeah. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen negative ones. So I still have to combine my terms. 4x squared minus 21x minus 18. And that is how to do it.